Down to that last clap thing that people do. Yeah. <laughs> a little rogue clap yeah. trying to get on the telly. That's very school assembly, that, isn't it? <laughs> uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to yet another edition of Badil and Skidder Unplanned, the unscripted, unplanned comedy show that somehow we get paid for doing. <laughs> Unbelievably. Yeah, was that an explanation of what the show is? Yeah, was? yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay, you summed that up neatly. Yeah. Can I say, I know we're not, we don't, one rule we have on this show is we don't talk about stuff we've talked about previously, but two different people have said to me today, how did you know that that goat had been um, having sex? Now, yeah, that's a good point. How did you, you know? watch last night, that's a bit of a good start. <laughs> goat having sex? <laughs> Turn that up, maybe. <laughs> um, and it was, everyone thought there must have been some horrible telltale signs. But all it was was that um, she kept phoning the bloke the next day and he wasn't returning any of her calls. <laughs> no. No, oh, yeah. people just people who live near the college, they just saw the bloke with she, the goat. She didn't have kids that were sort of half... Kids? <laughs> kids? <laughs> that were sort of half human, half goat or anything. No, it wasn't allowed to go that far, I'm afraid. Oh, right. Hmm. <laughs> I don't really want to talk about that no, part of it. you wouldn't have approved but it. But people saw this grim silhouette of a man having sex with a goat and then they phoned the police. A and silhouette? They... A sil it was at night. It was like a puppet show. <laughs> well, I suppose it was a bit like um, Mary Lewis, whatever her name, Sherry Lewis <laughs> and Lamb Chop. Yeah. <laughs> the no version. hands required. Mm. But that's how, in case you were, those people, that's how I knew. It, that's how they knew. I Sorry, didn't I've know. Got... It's nothing to do with me, I wasn't there. <laughs> There is something else, actually, that we don't generally do on this show, but in this case I'm going to have to do, which is there is a brilliant look-alike of me, as I, I used to be in the audience, which is this gentleman... <laughs> 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 it's such a brilliant look-alike. <laughs> I, I, was, I, I was so drawn to him, I actually knocked over a light here. <laughs> but this, uh, you just look so much like I did when I was 15. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> Have you, have you got an old album with me? I'm putting the light back. You carry on talking. <laughs> what? This, oh, this, so this, this is the light that tells us when it's half time, you see. So if this light goes, we're in big trouble. Do you think he looks like Frank? Yeah. No, he no, doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he looks like Jasper Carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Yeah. Jasper Carrot when he's had a bit of a flu. <laughs> No disrespect. Yes. Just, if Jasper Carrot and Garrett Southgate got into the fly machine, yeah. that's what would have come out. Thanks for that. No, it's all right. They're both successful. Your show's and... crap as well. He <laughs> <laughs> you know. said my show's crap. Oh dear, he's, oh dear. He's come and seen it live. I paid as well. <laughs> you paid. Uh, you paid. Who have you paid? Yeah, what, Two for touts? one, though. Two for one. <laughs> Two for one, what? That's your sex tickets. life? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't pay for the tickets, did you? Well, no, you did, didn't you? No, no you yeah. didn't. You thought it'd be funny oh, to say so. You <laughs> told him no. that you'd paid to impress him and they're free. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Who oh, said it's a, that? It's a lively audience tonight, isn't it? <laughs> yes, if, if that's a good idea, what is penicillin? Yeah. <laughs> House of the hangovers. That's for hangovers, is it? Yeah. Is it? Blimey, you take your hangovers seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so you go to yeah. the doctor and say, I've got a hangover to anything. <laughs> Sorry? Because I get enough of them. Do you? Yeah. Are you a bit of a goer? <laughs> I'll tell you later. Oh. Well, she wouldn't be a bit of a goer. She could just be a heavy drinker, surely. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. That's a bit harsh. Yeah, I'm sorry, Frank. How's your septum? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think That could so. be our catchphrase, how's your septum? <laughs> I wouldn't mind T-shirts for that on. Up the septum. <laughs> oh, up the septum. Yours is all right. Have you ever done cocaine? Are you going to admit it on the test? <laughs> <laughs> if you'd have shut up, she'd have said yes, then. <laughs> 
I've never done it. I want to make that Frank, absolutely clear. This is any children thing. watching. I've no, never, right. ever. Frank once said to me that he'd never even seen cocaine, and that's because he walks around my house blindfold, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have. I've never seen it, and I don't want to see it. Well, yeah, it's not very I'm exciting to see. People... <laughs> if I meet people who've done it, they're always horrible people. Yeah. And they go on and on about rubbish. And I don't need that in my life. Yeah. So if there's any children watching... People are going to applaud. People fancied applauding. The Daily yeah. Mail readers wanted to applaud. <laughs> it's good, though. It becomes all people say, oh, yeah, I do a lot of coat and it's really great. And you just think, what? oh, please, uh, please take least... your own life. Have they got a clef... <laughs> <laughs> Have they got a clef... No. No, they haven't. They've got a big set... Do you know what I met? I Could met you just... have sex with Daniela Westbrook's nose now? Oh! <laughs> Oh, you had to drink Why is that? that? Why is that worse than, say, if I'd mentioned oral sex, he'd have thought that was all right? Yeah, because that is all right. But <laughs> <laughs> having sex with her nose is not all right. Well, that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> and also, if she was a footballer, how would she do that thing? <laughs> it's She'd just have to close use it. Robbie Fowler's plaster. No, it'd, <laughs> just, it'd close the whole hole. She'd just go... <laughs> and her ears would pop. <laughs> But the snot would be on move, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Another reason, children, for not doing drugs. Mm. Don't do drugs. Shall we choose a secretary while we're, while we're about it? Does anyone want to be the secretary tonight? You can't... Not Jasper. Not Jasper Carrot. <laughs> I feel he was and slightly not, offended. No, the, the goer wants to be it as well. But does, does anyone else want to it's be the it? the goer's mate. Look, Hello, what about you? you? OK, you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. that was so <laughs> Sit down. Your name is Aaron Shakespeare? He is, yeah. OK, good. <laughs> <laughs> Have you taken cocaine tonight, Aaron? Um, no. no. <laughs> you seem very upbeat. Well, I've had a bottle of Coke. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> a whole bottle of it? You said you had a bottle of Coke. <laughs> and your name's Aaron Shakespeare? It is, yeah. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, um, Aaron's a good name. Yeah. <laughs> God, something's really cheered you up. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you were actually pointing out your mate, weren't you, Aaron? Isn't that right? Your mate with your with the red oh, him, with yeah. the pink hair. Alan. Yeah. I just wanted to bring attention to his hair. Yes, it's my natural colour, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Well, it yeah. is. Come on. Now you are gay, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> We all you... know, we all know. Blimey. I'm glad you're proud of it. <laughs> yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with being proud of it, but... Oh, there was a time you could be... <laughs> <laughs> well, there was oh, I remember the days when you could be proud of heterosexuality, but now... <laughs> well, <laughs> it's so passé. Okay. It is, I have to keep my light under a bushel. <laughs> Mary Bushel? <laughs> yes, yeah, actually, it is Gary Bushel. <laughs> <laughs> Which would hide the great fire of London. <laughs> I'm, quite, I'm quite sad you aren't the secretary, really, I have to say. Oh, well, no. I, I could be the Should secretary. we swap? No, no, no. no. Just swap. no. I'm not going to get rid of Aaron, what? just like that. What's your name? Alan. Really? Alan yes. Aaron? You could be a double act. <laughs> we, we, it, it's a double we, act, really. We are, really, Can yeah. I just ask you something? <laughs> oh, you are? <laughs> It's like oh. yesterday's show. How long have you two been going? Oh. <laughs> Aaron's trying to make a point. Yeah. Oh, no, I was going to say, in a double act, you always have a straight man, and uh, that's me. I'm oh, the... you're the straight man? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Very good. Is it, is it a which one's Horace and which one's Doris? Kind of <laughs> Don't go there. I'm not no, going to go there. There's nothing wrong with Doris Two nice Day. people, a very nice chap here with an interesting name, <laughs> and a very lovely man here whose sexuality is his own business. Yes. <laughs> or it was until about and three minutes And five million ago. other people. <laughs> yeah. 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 But they won't tell anyone. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> of course. You've okay. told your parents, presumably, or...? <laughs> no, oh, actually. <laughs> but they know now! <laughs> And they, there we they go. Won't be watching. <laughs> they're, they're probably not even in the country, so... No? No. They probably aren't now. <laughs> <laughs> probably, they'll be mixing the tar and getting the feathers ready for Well, them. yes! <laughs> but they're not Jewish, so it's all right. They're not Jewish? They're no. not Jewish? They're not Jewish. Oh, well, there you go, then. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> are you Jewish? No, I'm not. No, you wouldn't be if they are. No, well, they can't. <laughs> Doesn't make much sense, does it? Does that mean they're gay? <laughs> they might be. Yeah. 
I just wanted to ask, I don't want to, don't want to dwell on this, but I'm interested in, in your mannerisms, because obviously that's how I picked up on it. But, well, obviously. No, but I am interested in, in, that, in that, all that business that you do. Did you, mm. did, did you work on that? Or... <laughs> well, actually, no, now you come to mention it, I, I think I should let the public know there is a school <laughs> that we all school. go to. Right. And, and, like, it's like 28 lessons. And, and, you know, after that, you're like that. I really? <laughs> it's, like, it's like Graham Norton, the headmaster, or something. <laughs> Actually, he was in the year above me, so there you go. <laughs> yeah. And do you have summer camp? <laughs> we have camp every day of the year. Oh, dear. Well, anyway, thanks for coming. No, what what you. do you do, Aaron, for a living? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm working in a library. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I look like one tonight. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. God, this noise must be terrifying mm. for you. <laughs> um, no, I'm, um, I'm, I'm temping... Um, oh. I'm temping different libraries. Actually, have you passed puberty? <laughs> <laughs> that was it, you just went uh, past. My right. voice just, just broke, yeah. <laughs> no, I work in different libraries. Um, oh, you work you in different libraries? Library. I move from library to library, yeah. You're a mobile librarian? Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. It's, um, it's interesting. Well, are you a sort of a troubleshooter, you know? I'm kind of a... You turn up like a librarian red a day. Well, more of a... We've lost a couple of Catherine Cookson's, but I sent back Bye, <laughs> everyone, don't panic. <laughs> That's kind of a, a lovely idea. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good, you know. You, you meet different people and worked in uh, colleges. Worked at Royal Pharmaceutical Society. Well, Worked it's time for the break now. <laughs> 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 well, we'll see you after this. It's yeah? it 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 classic. classic. It's classic. Oh, right, it's oh, OK, then. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to the Aaron and Alan show. <laughs> <laughs> I went to uh, the Tower of London. Today. Oh, did you? You ever been? Anyone here been to the Tower of London? Most people. Yes. That was someone just being decapitated. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of Anne Boleyn. Yeah. She'll Anne Boleyn later on. <laughs> um, there was. Uh, I went on this tour of the Thomas. <laughs> We're just talking about I'm it. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> I went on this Thomas More tour, so you get to see. You know, Thomas More was in the tower as a prisoner, and you get to his cell where he was kept. And was, we've shown him by a beef eater bloke. This is true. This happened to me today, right? And it's beef eater. He, so he said, "Anyone got any questions?" And I said, "How long was Thomas More in here?" And he said, "15 months." And I said, "And you said that he, he wasn't allowed writing paper and that after a, after a bit. How long was he allowed? You know, before they took that away?" He said. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get to the next room. And that was it. Really? It was really, like, an estimate, really terrible. <laughs> he was really quite a nasty beef eater. Really? That's all <laughs> he was. I think maybe he was a Bernie Inn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he had mad cow disease. <laughs> maybe. No, but I was really... I, was, I felt such a fool. Yeah. Well, he looked at me. I don't know. Do you want a happy beef eater? Sorry? What? Do you want a happy beef eater? Yes, a happy, yes, beef. A happy beef eater. You've understood the idea. We want <laughs> a nicer beef eater. Yeah, yeah. You, you imagine beef eaters to be quite jolly and, you know, ho, 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 and Henry the Eighth. And this one, he was quite smarmy. Mm. If you're watching, mate... <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> yeah. With your yeah. unpleasantness. Should we get a question? Yeah, let's get a question. Um, oh, there's lots of people. You, sir. What's your favourite Morecambe and Wise moment? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you don't really like them that much, do you? My favourite Morecambe and Wise moment. I can tell you what mine is. I'll just tell you what it is. Sorry, do you want Go to... Go on, no, carry on. Mine is, I like it when uh, Eric Morgan is playing the piano in the Andre Previn sketch. Andre yeah. Previn. Yeah. Andre Previn, yeah, you know it, mate. Are you a bit of a Morecambe Wise anorak? <laughs> I've left it at home, yeah. But... Actually, you are tinted, is what you are. <laughs> But I like it when Andre, uh, when, in the Andre preview sketch, when Eric Morecambe is playing the piano, mm -hmm. and uh, very badly, and he says, you're playing all the wrong notes. He says, I'm playing all the right notes, but I'm playing them in the wrong order. Exactly. That's my favourite yeah. moment. There you go. You? I never cared for him much. Oh. <laughs> you don't, you prefer the two Ronnies, I mean, don't you? I mean, not supposed to. I did the two Ronnies was better than Morecambe Weiss. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Oh, shut your faces. <laughs> <laughs> well, go get cross. 
Yes. And the Beatles I didn't like much. <laughs> no, we had this conversation. We Dave did was yesterday. saying I love the Beatles, I got all their albums, and I said, oh, I never care for them that much. And then Dave said, oh, I changed no, my maybe mind. you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually. I was very easily influenced. I by also you thought Ringo wasn't given enough lead vocals. <laughs> It would have changed the whole career of the Beatles if it had been like, the long and winding road. <laughs> Yesterday, all my... No one would have bought that. It would have been a different, whole different world. I just met, talking of, I just met Ronan Keating outside. Did you? Yeah, because this, this is not a theatre for anyone else. This is London Studios where we do this. And he's doing, I think, the Joe Wiley show. Probably on the other channel now that I've just advertised. <laughs> <laughs> he's someone else I've never much cared for. Well, he growls, as you say, but he, 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 he sort of went respect to me like this, but he missed me completely. <laughs> and he almost hit me in the face. It was, a, it was, it was awful. Awful. To get chinned by Ronan Keating. <laughs> but have, I, have I ever told you this? Because he was being nice. Have you got a septum? He had a septum. Yeah, so no. you know he's going to have a septum, don't you? You know he's got a septum, Britney's got a hymen. <laughs> <laughs> Some things. You know, Britney, did you read that thing? What? Britney, a bloke offered Britney Spears seven and a half million to have sex, and he she turned him down. Yeah, but seven and a half million is pocket money for Britney Spears, isn't it? Yeah, She's... but for one quick rub out. <laughs> <laughs> is that what he wanted? Just yeah. a rub out? That was the phrase he used. I don't actually know what a rub out is. Well, it's sexual intercourse, <laughs> for goodness it? sake. Oh, right, it wasn't. It wasn't seven and a half million, though. But apparently she's not. She's going to wait till her wedding night for. Yeah, say. I've heard that. That's yeah. great in a way, I think. Don't you? <laughs> You've been very reactionary tonight, haven't you? No, I think that's a, it's a nice, refreshing check. Cos I was told about it in the office and people saying, well, you know, you need to know if you're compatible and that. But have you ever had sex with someone and thought, whoops, we're not compatible? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you, that goat, I remember, was that? Yeah. <laughs> well, even one. that. And no butts. <laughs> no. <laughs> no butts. Shut up. <laughs> I've never... You just get compatible, don't you? I'm going to move towards having an arranged marriage, I think. Are you? Yeah. Oh, with who? Oh, you don't know yet? No, nah, it's nothing to do with me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Brit Ronan Do you Keaton... think when Britney finally loses it, she'll go, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what she does? Yeah, she does that a lot. Does she? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Ronan Keaton, have, have I told you this? I met him once before. I've just thought of her because he... <laughs> no, because... <laughs> no, because Ronan Keaton didn't that... Didn't... Am I right? He didn't have sex till he was married either. Didn't he? Ronan Keaton. What do you think about that, Alan? <laughs> He's Irish, what can I say? Yeah. They, they're completely fucked up, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> no, 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 forget it, Alan, you've, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. I've <laughs> lost the whole... You've but done a terrible thing. Take the mic away, it's probably... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at this stage. Oh, I don't know what to know, it's like having your dad on again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's have another question. Am I even going to tell that my Ronan Keating story? Oh, sorry, you got a Ronan Keating story. No, it's all right, story. it's all right. Let's have a question from that bloke. Me? Yeah. Um, what's the worst mistake you've ever made in your Asking life? Asking Alan to speak just <laughs> now. <laughs> That's probably up there. That's well up there, Alan. <laughs> what about you? It's tough, isn't it? Worst mistake I've ever made? Yeah. This. <laughs> <laughs> Next. What about that bloke with the... Uh, Showing the head. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, why do you always do that every now and again? Yeah, you do do that, actually. That, that is true. So why? Do I, I do that? <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Often when you're doing a little impression you, of someone. You, you, said, you said something controversial and you go, hmm. Let me just... Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm trying to stop myself doing that. <laughs> <laughs> The two, I find the two against each other can, can cancel that out. <laughs> but if one slips, I mean... Uh, <laughs> but um, I got through that whole conversation, I only did it twice, that's pretty good. But it's an uh, interest, well observed. <laughs> can I just say, you have got a bit of a shiny head. I mean, <laughs> and it's, it's the, the makeup woman said to me the other night, can you not get questions from people who are bored, cos it looks a bit messy. Oh, <laughs> it looks <a> bit messy? <laughs> yeah, cos they awful. shine. <laughs> Oh, dear. There's a bald bloke over there. What do you think about that, sir? And please don't swear. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? That's awful, isn't it? Do you want a bit of powder for your... <laughs> it's dreadful that bald people should be... <laughs> he's, he's just my... No, Sodom. <laughs> yeah, wear a hat. That's what she did. <laughs> She's not bald, though, is she? Are you bald under that? You look like Max Miller. What's, what's that? <laughs> Max Miller. Is it Max Miller? No. Yeah. Yeah. You do look exactly like <laughs> Max Miller. <laughs> if you were 
<laughs> Max Miller stood side by side. He wouldn't know the difference. I think it was Max Wall. I remember. Still, you still don't look much like him either, to be honest. No, Max Miller was right. Anyway, Ronan and Keaty, shall I tell this story now? I feel, I feel a lot's resting on it now, and it could be could well be rubbish. But he was being very friendly. But I met him once before, and he was being very friendly and very nice. He said, I like, I like everything you've done. You're great. You're really great. And then it went on for about five minutes. At the end of it, he said, the thing I really like that what you've done is the writing you did for Blackadder. And I thought... <laughs> Embarrassing, I thought, right? I said, what I like about you is how you play up front for England. <laughs> but oh, you think he looks like Shearer? He does look a bit like Alan Shearer, don't you think? No? Oh, well, OK, some people laugh. They must have agreed with me. Perhaps they didn't. No, I don't think he did. He did think I was Ben Elton, though. That was what, that was what he thought. Did you see Coronation Street tonight? I didn't see... I don't watch Coronation Street. It was, a t it was so sad tonight. Anyone here see? Yeah. You know, um, that dopey woman who's married to... Uh, Kevin Webster. Alistair. Yeah, sorry? Why? Yeah, yeah, have you it? videoed it? It's been on. I know, but I'm taping it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the baby died. <laughs> <laughs> You're better to know in advance, cos it knocked the stuffing out of me. I didn't see it. <laughs> And at the end of it, they, the, it, it went, they didn't have any music over the, cred, the, the credits at the yeah, end. Yeah. They just had her and Kevin. Well, they weren't doing that, because... Oh, well, they were doing that. They'd still got it. And they're sitting in a room, and they were both sobbing, and it was just complete silence. And I thought, oh, this is the most sad thing. And then it goes... Did -a -da -da -da, and a little chocolate <laughs> band. <laughs> I thought for one night they could have let the... <laughs> <laughs> he said, -da 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 -da. It's the chocolate man. Come for the dead babies. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. But it's What's very it sad. Watch it anyway, it's really sad. Someone just told me, is this correct, that it's died of a genital infection, apparently? That's, that's what someone just out there told me. Well, she had, she had something wrong with her and the baby caught it. Right. If it had grown up, it would have just gone... <laughs> this is what she does all the time, doesn't it? <laughs> For the best, but it is sad. Oh, you're right there. Yeah, I'm fine. Do you watch Coronation Street, Aaron? No. <laughs> <laughs> you lost on you then. Was that all that? Um, yeah. Well, Start. What? This week's a good week to watch. It's really dramatic stuff. Right. If you I... ever thought, God, I wish I could get into Coronation Street. <laughs> Obviously, no, you could have gone I wish in I could as... get into Alan. You could have gone in as <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a song. Let's do a song. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We're going to do a song as long as it's not at the hot. <laughs> we'll be all right. <laughs> um, someone shout out a number. Seven. Hold on, what's that? Seven, they said. What is it? Prince Charming by Adam Ant. Yeah. <laughs> right. the, the, oh, I feel I should put my makeup on. <laughs> Whatever happened to Adam Ant? Is he still working? Dead. He's, He's not, not dead. <laughs> Oh, it's no. a, hang on, it says here in the Him music. And baby it's a, Jake on the same evening. <laughs> it says here, drums. How am I gonna do that? <laughs> Just bang. Mm, da, 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 da. They'll do that. <laughs> Doesn't it go? Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Doesn't it go like that? <laughs> don't you ever, don't you ever stop being dandy. Showing me your handsome creep up. Stop doing it! <laughs> Prince Charming, Prince Charming. Ridicule no, no, no. is nothing to be scared of. <laughs> so true. Don't you, don't you ever, don't you ever stop being dandy. Showing me your handsome. Right, now don't you, what are you playing? <laughs> Great six, he told me. Have we ended yet? <laughs> Simone, have we ended yet? Oh, you're doing the countdown. <laughs> oh, you're dozy, Kelman. A right unprofessional job at that. <laughs> Good night, everybody.